check. Here we go. <laughs> I'm looking in the air like this, like, like Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, this one's going to go to outer space. All right. Did you get the clip? <laughs> oh shit, no way. Yeah! <laughs> there ain't no skating in this video, it's a golf video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about sort of my experiences with riding a twin tail skateboard. But before I do that, I'm probably going to skate a little bit at the park. And right now I'm actually on a real board. It's a standard shaped deck. So the past three boards that I've ridden have been a quasi and then the twin tail and then uh, this standard shape. So I've ridden three like oval shaped boards like they're not like welcome like ridiculous shapes they're pretty like on the surface they all kind of look the same it's up until you get a little closer you're like oh yeah there's definitely some differences in these shapes so i'm going to be talking about that later just basically discussing how i think twin tails like the pros and cons of them <laughs> how you doing just finished up that little skate sesh. This right here is actually the twin tail that I was riding a couple weeks ago. It was sent to me by people over at Glider. I did make a board setup on this deck. So that video is live somewhere on the channel pretty recently. I actually ended up liking a twin tail much more than I thought I was going to. The wood was pretty good. It was a, it was a good board. I would say the only things that I didn't like about this board are due to the fact that it was a twin tail. So I will actually be discussing the pros of it first and then I'll go into the cons. So one of the pros obviously of a twin tail are the symmetry and technically if you're skating a twin tail I usually just kept this as the tail and this is the nose and no matter like which way I would ride it would just it would feel like obviously the same both ways but I subconsciously like designated this side as the nose. If you wanted to ride it both ways, you very well could. And that would theoretically make the pop last twice as long because you got two tails. So being that it is perfectly symmetrical, the idea of a twin tail is that your nollie and switch feels exactly the same pretty much as your regular. And you can throw down the board any way you want and it's always going to feel the same. And theoretically, that's a good concept. 
This board was also relatively mellow and I sort of realized that mellow boards are a little bit more forgiving on most tricks. But like, like a board with really steep nose and stuff, really steep concave, if you make a mistake, it's gonna make itself known. I think most twin tail boards are going to be a little bit more on the mellow side just because of the way that they are. And that'll technically make them a little bit more forgiving on most things. All right, so now I'm gonna be talking about the cons of a twin tail. For me, I think that my flick is much worse because try to skate like a regular standard shape board for like five years and then switch to uh, quasis and FAs and hockeys and all those boards that have the giant nose. I've always been used to the long square noses. It's just, I'm so used to it that my flick has adjusted for boards like that. So when I got into a board with this real small literal tail as a nose my flick was it, i had to change it completely i did end up getting kind of used to it after two weeks but they never felt like amazing they felt like all right i could have definitely gotten used to it if i wanted to but this leads me on to my next con which is that i didn't want to because twin tails are not as popular as standard shape boards and if you go into a skate shop you'll be lucky to find like a very small handful of twin tails in your size in a brand that you like with a graphic that you want. So I did not want to get used to a twin tail, even with the pros. Another thing about getting used to a regular board is I'm so used to popping Nolly and switch off of my nose and flicking with my switch foot off the tail that it actually felt harder to skate the twin tail because it felt like I was skating the board regular. And I can't really skate switch and Nolly off my tail. It made everything a little bit harder. And this is kind of contradicting what I said about the board being forgiving, but forgiving in the sense of that it's mellow. Like steeper, steeper concave is really what makes the regular boards a little bit more unforgiving, which is why I changed on my newer board from a uh, quasi or any of those bigger nose boards to one that's a little bit more neutral, like this reel, which is a very neutral shape board where the nose is a little bit longer, so my flick still feels right. The standard shape boards are honestly like the best of both worlds, where they're, it's still pretty forgiving because it's not too steep, not too mellow on that specific shape. That board just feels like great. So personally, I'd say only skate a twin tail if you really want to commit to it because they will change like your muscle memory. And I guess for some people, a couple pros like them a lot. They're all right. For me, I was not a huge fan. And uh, it really comes down to the fact that they're just not that common. And I'd rather go into a shop and be able to select any board in my size and have it work well. All right, so that's about it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Let me know if you'd still try a twin tail or if you ride them in the comments below. And come back next week for another video. Peace out, mates.